Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So if you are just starting out on YouTube um, and you actually wanted your channel to grow fast, then I do have some advice for you. Because today I'm going to be talking about why I have a variety YouTube channel and why you shouldn't. And so for most people who go to YouTube, they'll normally go to a channel that has basically one category or a main type of videos okay so for example if you love gaming the, your favorite channel probably has nothing but gaming if you love movies it probably has nothing but movies and so a lot of youtube channels do that and they do that for a reason and that is primarily for growth and to give their actual community the stuff that they were actually looking for consistently now on my channel ever since the beginning uh, I would say for, of Geek Outdoors, I primarily made it a variety channel. And so what I mean by that is if you actually go to my channel and you actually look at my playlist, uh, I have quite a few Linux videos. Uh, those are my most popular videos. I have video editing tutorials like my Open Shot and Caden Live. I have Geek Gear Reviews where I do reviews of different products that I have. I have my entire YouTube journey playlist uh, where I spend most of my time creating videos now. I have YouTube Live, I have a top five list, digital marketing, I had a Geek Bros talk with my brothers, and more Linux stuff, and I also had a gaming one as well. Um, so if you keep going down here, see there's a gaming one as well. And so as you can tell from my actual channel, uh, I have a variety of things. Now I did this for a reason, because whenever I did start my channel, you know, I really wanted to talk about things that I really enjoyed. Um, even though they were a variety of things, I tried to keep them in uh, the same type of categories, okay, the geeky stuff. And I've produced more than 1,000 videos and counting so far uh, by doing this. And even though um, I'm very happy uh, that I've created all these videos, especially for people who uh, get value out of it, in terms of growth, it is not a great strategy. So I actually started my channel back in October 19, 2013. And at the time of this video, I have 5,558 subscribers. And the very first video I did was actually a video of a video game, Double Dragon. So I did this five years ago on October 21st, 2013. And initially, when I did start this channel, before I did the whole Geek Outdoors thing, it was Retro Gaming Geek, and it was pretty much nothing but video game uh, videos, okay? And so that's a very uh, challenging market. Uh, so I decided to stop making videos for a long time, and it wasn't until October of like 2015 that I actually started Geek Outdoors. And it took a long time because I did a lot of variety of things. I just basically thought, well, I just want to make videos that I enjoy that are in categories, you know, so I still try to keep it focused uh, for geeky stuff, you know. And so it took me more than 157 videos. Actually, if I include my older videos, it took me like 200 videos uh, to actually get to a milestone that uh, a lot of people are looking for. Let me see if I can find it here. To get to 100 subscribers, which was on my Geek Outdoors episode 157, uh, I actually did that on July 24th, 2016. So that took more than two years and like pretty much over 200 videos to get to that point. Now, for a lot of people, that is extremely slow. And I would definitely say it is slow if you are looking to grow your channel, you know, with the number of subscribers, the number of views and so forth. A lot of times they go hand in hand. And when I compare to my other new channels that I started, um, I have another channel called Go Movies and it has nothing but a uh, movie video. So it's very focused on that. And I don't, uh, you know, publish on this like every week or have as many videos. But the thing is, I already have over 100 subscribers here. The views uh, for some of the videos are actually more than my main channel. And the thing is, if I actually compare this to Geek Outdoors, so right now I have over 1,035 published videos, but my Go Movies channel only has 51 videos and I already have over 100 subscribers. Now, I have a Go Gaming channel as well, but I rarely uh, publish that anymore. And so that's what I wanted to show you here. 
um, if you actually want to grow your channel faster, like if I actually put more effort into this channel and I made more and more movie channels or movie videos, um, it would definitely grow a lot faster than my Geek Outdoors channel, okay? And so if you are the type of person who wants to grow uh, much quicker and who wants to keep things focused and serve a specific community, then I highly recommend you do a pretty much a single focus channel. So you're pretty much going to have most or nearly all your videos focus on that one particular category or subject. Now, the reason why I'm still sticking with this uh, variety type channel is because I'm looking for this for the long term. You know, um, as the title of my channel now is for creative geeks, I am a creative person. You know, um, whenever I started my channel, that wasn't the case. Uh, but nowadays, a lot of my videos, they're more focused on creativity, specifically for geeks who want to be creative, you know, like myself. And so I already knew even back then that I was not going to have a single focus channel, at least for this channel, uh, because I, I do like variety. And at the same time, as I kept making more and more videos, uh, I realized that, you know, these things that I enjoy, these multiple things uh, could help people in a, a lot of different ways. Uh, but the bad thing about it is that it will really slow down my growth. And so as you can see there over what, like since I started my channel, it's like five years now, but actually it's been three years uh, since I've been really focused on making uh, videos for Geek Outdoors. Uh, and the, the growth has not been fast. However, uh, for the long term, uh, it's like something for me personally. I can create more videos that way because it allows me more freedom. And I am becoming more focused on the type of videos I produce. So a lot of videos that I produce on this channel right now is primarily towards creativity. Okay, so a lot of my videos are on my own journey of how I, you know, become creative, uh, what I'm learning throughout this process, and also focusing more on creating videos like more Caden Live tutorial videos or maybe other tech tutorials that really focus on the idea of using tools that allow you to be more creative, you know, and most of the tools that I cover are open source, you know, they're in a Linux operating system, but a lot of these tools that I use, they're available on every single platform. And so that's pretty much where my focus is nowadays. And uh, it, it is challenging, you know, if you are the type of person who is looking for more uh, faster growth, uh, more views, then uh, this is not the strategy uh, I'd recommend for you. But if you are patient and this is something that you really want to do for the long term, then I would say focus on a creative channel uh, that is a variety of things that you enjoy. So that's kind of what I focus on here. And so that is uh, my thoughts on if you decide to do YouTube, why you shouldn't do a variety channel like I do if you want fast growth. Uh, but if you are willing to be patient, uh, put in the work for the long term, then I really feel that you'll get more fulfillment out of it and you probably won't burn out, you know, because I have seen that where people will make just the same type of videos uh, for a long time and they want to do other things and uh, they normally get burnt out. And so for me, that's not what I want to happen for the long term. And so if you actually have any thoughts on this, whether you are just a beginning YouTube content creator or maybe you are a veteran and you face similar challenges, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my entire uh, YouTube journey playlist, I will also leave that in the description area below as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.